Namaste guys, in this video I am going to teach you how to extract text from a photo or a video by using PyTesseract in OpenCV Python. So let's begin. So here is the first code. Uh, it basically, what it basically do, it extract text from an image. So if I run this code, you see, uh, it has extract the image text. Now, we will also learn how to extract text like no known English like Hindi. Okay. Now, before I jump to known English, let's try to understand how does this code work. So, first thing I have done is I have import CV2 PyTesseract and from PIL import image. Okay. Now, first thing this line, what does this line do? That I have defined the location and my exe file. So when I will call the PyTesseract, it will basically go to this and ask for the ask for the image to read and give, give the extract the text. Okay. And here you notice something that I have converted the image to BGR to gray. Remember, BGR to gray, the reason is that that in OpenCV it store image in BGR format, not in RGB. That is the reason I have typed BGR to gray. Okay. After that, I have called PyTesseract and it will convert image to string. And here I just show the results. Okay. So this is the simple image and this is the te uh, text that it has extracted. Now, now let's move on to see how to extract Hindi. Okay. As an Indian, so I prefer Hindi language. So let's see how I uh, extract Hindi language. Remember, this method can also be used for French and other language. Uh, so here you see, I have first uh, this same line of code. Okay, here just you will see that here I have choose image dot open fdfs dot jpeg. That is basically my image file and language Hindi. Uh, if you notice something that here I have convert, I have convert my color BGR to gray. But here I have. I doesn't do that because I am using image dot open. Okay. Uh, remember, you can also use this line of code here. Uh, the main aim is just to show that you can do one thing uh, more than one way. Okay. That is the reason I have shown here. Now, what it will do? That it will convert the image automatically to uh, requirement of PyTesseract. Okay. And here is the important thing. Here you see lang hin. So a language language and HIN is Hindi. So suppose you say that hey man I want to convert or extract text from a French language, Arabic language or some other your regional language or mother tongue. So what you need to do is when you install PyTesseract you need to make sure that you install your language as well. And to get this code for example for Hindi it is HIN and to get this code for your language you need to run this code print pytesseract uh, get language config so here you see english this is equation for example whatever the mathematical equation and hindi and this is another language uh, i doesn't remember so when i install pytesseract you can check out the video link in description if you doesn't know how to install pytesseract and languages okay link in description so here you can see I have installed three language. So my PyTesseract can only extract uh, these uh, four language basically. Uh, mathematical equation is not considered as a language. So only three language. Okay. Again, it's up to you. Now, let's see. Sub, you can also use this code for extracting car plate number. For example, if I type car and run this code. Okay, first I need to close this. So here you will see I have extracted the car image. Uh, so this is the car number. Okay, and this is the unwanted thing. Uh, just you know when you extract image from real life things, you need to apply lo um, a lot of things. For example, Gaussian blur, etc., etc. Uh, let me show you the email name. Seven A dot eight two one three. It has extracted correctly. Now here is the CZ and here you see EGA. So basically uh, there are some I guess unwanted uh, accepting. It means that 
interstack from one modern things so to get better image for that i highly recommend that you use gaussian blur and other filters so that you get a better image clarity now a question arises how to extract text from a video so before i start telling this part i recommend that if you don't have a good laptop or pc don't i don't recommend this because it will be a very laggy i have a potato laptop so i'm just show you a simple demo version but i warn you that it is a laggy version again it's up to you whether you want to use it or not so here is the code uh, let's me uh, tell you what does this code do so this line of code i already tell you that import pytester act and this is this okay and after that you need to so here basically what i have done is i have captured from my webcam okay that is run cv2 dot video capture 0 okay from my uh, uh, webcam and here is uh, i am recording the from my webcam cap dot read image with whatever the standard shape of the webcam okay so here is this thing that i have uh, extracting the text from the image and here is that something called boxes again if you want to get boxes then use this line as ignore this uh basically just ignore this uh, doesn't matter uh, here is a complex one but i recommend that you use this one uh, just save your time and here just nothing just uh, everything else is just a normal code uh, nothing complex here just put text now if i run this code so you can see it's extracting the text but it is very laggy okay so yeah that's uh, that's for this tutorial if you have any kind of doubts and queries make sure that you ask in comments and if you want to know how to install it uh, just check out the link in description uh, you will get the full details of it okay and i hope uh, i didn't show this code i guess so let's try to confirm this one sorry i didn't so here you can see this is the hindi text and it has a very good okay you can see totally words and one more thing you can do is for example here is a text you can extract extracted so you can store this text and use uh, google translate and convert so you can make a very cool project for example reading a text from online or live videos and convert it real time but again if your laptop is a potato laptop like me then you will get a uh, potato results so don't try on a potato laptop i recommend and i hope you learned something from this video if you like this video make sure give it a thumbs up and any kind of constructive criticism is highly appreciated but remember if you have a project or something that you want to do uh, you want that i do uh, make sure that it can run on my potato laptop okay don't give me some very high or difficult things because my potato laptop can't support so i hope you learned something from this video thanks for watching and have a great day namaste